Let's set up an email account on HostGator. First thing, we're going to log in into the HostGator C panel. We go there and we log in. The next thing, we're going to go scroll down where it says email accounts. We're going to scroll down and click on email accounts. Then we're going to fill in the fields and press create account. So I'm going to create a new account for blissbook.com, set up a password. Strong password. This is the quota, how big you want. I think the maximum is 2,000 megabytes. You can create an account. And then you just click create account and your account gets created. The next thing is you're going to go and try to find for that account. And I just created the Miguel at blissbook.com. The next thing we have to do is configure email client configure email client. So the email account is already set up in the sense that we can already receive email to that address. But if you wanted to see that email, we actually will have to go inside HostGator, uh, which I can show you real quickly how you would look at that email. Let me just go back and go here. To be able to see that the email, we can go here and access webmail. Now that's not very convenient. You want to access your email from your preferred client, which could be Outlook, or it could be Gmail, or it could be Mac. Uh, sorry, it could be Mail for Mac. If you're using HostGator to see your email, you just can go to where I just show you, and then click one of these three different mail clients, and then you'll be able to see it. But if you want to configure the client, a different client, you click on configure email client and then you're going to copy the email client parameters so let me just go here to configure email client and you're going to have both uh, let me just see yeah, boom. you're going to have both uh, the protocols here and everything all the different ways you can do this actually you have instructions here on how to uh, set up your typical mail clients like Outlook and mail app but the important stuff is this. There's two different settings, manual settings, secure and non-secure uh, non or non-SSL settings. I recommend you use the secure ones. And in this case, I'm going to use um, Gmail as my email client. So what I'm going to do is log into my Gmail. Now I'm in Gmail. I'm going to go to settings. Next, I'm going to go to Accounts and Import. Then I'm going to click Add a POP3 Mail account. And this is where we enter the information. Oops, that we need. This is the new email address. The username is the same as the email address. The password is the password that we selected. The POP server is that would be uh, by default it should be that one but actually it because it's a uh, secure connection is going to be different than that and we can uh, find that actually here that is the incoming server the port is 995 for a pop3 account which is right there I suggest leaving a copy of your of retrieved message on the server. That way you have a backup. Otherwise, they're just forwarded directly to your Gmail account without leaving a copy on the on the server. And if you lose your Gmail account, then you lost all your emails. And you can also a, add a label to make sure that all the emails coming from that account have a label. And um, let's add the account. Now it should be added. Then you can select whether you want to be able to send mail as, me, as the new email address. And it's a good idea because that way you can use Gmail not just to receive emails from that account, but also to send emails from that account through your server. So just click next. What name you would give yourself, sending emails, probably Miguel in this case. Then next step username, the password, 
we we said that the uh, the server is that one. What is the port for six five? It says right there. Secure port. Using TL, TLS, it's oh okay okay. Let's see if that works. I'm not sure because here it actually says SSL slash TLS settings recommended, and here you have both options. Let's try that port four six five. See if it works. If not, we'll try uh, the other one. Okay, add account. See if it works. Perfect. And now you have to verify the new account for security purposes. So you should get a confirmation email here. And once you get it, you can actually go and do that. What happens right now is that the email was sent to the server and then it takes a little bit of time to go back to be forwarded, downloaded to your Gmail account. Actually, you can see here, oh, it just got downloaded. Boom. And uh, the code is this one. We copy it. We enter it. We click verify. And now we can send emails from that new account. It'll be here. MiguelaBlissBook.com. So it behaves as if we were sending and receiving emails right from the server with the domain we just purchased. That's fantastic. I love Gmail. It's just like such a powerful tool. And that means that we are done setting up an email account. Congratulations. Hey, did you enjoy this video? If you want to see more like this, just subscribe here. If you want a free gift, click here. Yeah. Which one is going to be the one you click? La 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 li 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 li